Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're at Skegness Pleasure Beach, the Bottoms Skegness Pleasure Beach. Um, we have done a full video of our day at the Pleasure Beach, which um, I will be putting up online very soon. But in the meantime, I thought I'm just going to do a quick tour of the um, of the amusement park. So we'll go through the Pleasure Beach um, and I'll show you everything that's there quickly, and we'll just have a full walk round um, and let you see. So let's head on in. This is Bottoms Pleasure Beach. Opening times today on a Sunday in June is 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. Um, and we'll head inside. This is basically located just on the seafront. You've got all the arcades down there. Um, and it is located right next to the Skegness Pier, which is there. That's Skegness Pier. And then you've got some arcades here. And this is where you enter into the Pleasure Beach. So we'll go through, I'll show you every attraction that's here. And like I said, there is um, a video coming on our channel very soon of our day here with some on-ride POVs. Every ride that I've been on, I've managed to get a, an on-ride POV. So look out for that one. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see that. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it all or if you found it interesting. A lot of people might not even know that this place exists. Um, so... I thought I'd uh, give a quick tour. It won't be a massively detailed tour because like I said, we've, uh, we've spent the full day here and there is a full day's vlog coming anyway. So it's just a quick tour for anybody that just wants to see the tour of the place. I'm gonna head up these stairs because this is the first ride that we came to because there's another exit entrance here to the uh, fun fair. Um, and I'll start on the first ride we went to because you get a good view of the park from up there as well, which I'll show you. But these are the prices. You can get wristbands, you can buy tokens. Each ride is token operated as well. So it's one pound for one token, 20 for 25 or 30 pounds for 40 tokens, or you can get wristbands. That's the price of the wristbands. Um, we did go on planetoffers.co.uk and we got an offer on the wristbands. We got 10 pound each for an unlimited wristband for 1.2 meter riders or above, which, is, which covers you for every ride. Um, so that's a pretty good deal for £10 so this is everything that's here you can see I will go down and walk through everything we're gonna have a, a little bit more look of what's here um, so this is the Queen Bee it's like an inverted little roller coaster for kids so you've got that that is included everything that's on, on site everything Excluding the log flume that's out on the front, literally not even on site here. It's just on the front. Um, the log flume is not included, but everything else on site here is included. So you've got the queen bee, which we've just had a look at. There's a twister. There's a runaway train. I'll show you the runaway train. It's like a, a pretty tame sort of beginner's coaster. Um, and there is, on each ride, there is how much it would be per token, like in tokens. And obviously a token is a pound if bought separately, so that's three tokens per rider. So that would cost you three pound in tokens if you bought the tokens individually. But we paid ten pound for a wristband for unlimited rides on everything all day. So an absolute bargain from Planet Office. This is the Dodgems. And it does stay on the track, no bumping, and they do enforce that quite strictly, um, having been on it and seeing that they do that. You've got the yo-yos, which is like a little swingy ride that goes up a little bit. That's for little kids. I took Albie on that, which you'll see in the vlog. There is um, like a little car ride for little kids where you can pick a vehicle and it just goes around like a circular track with a slight little elevation on it that's called the formula one so i'll show you that one albie's been on this about three or four times i think today so that one it's not not going around at the minute but that's what he's done i'll go around the other side because there's a couple of attractions around this way like i said i will show you the whole place um, but i will try and be as quick as i can um, just so you get like a quick idea of everything that's here. Um, like I said, a lot of, probably a lot of people wouldn't even know that it's here. Um, 
a lot of people may not know what is here if they've heard of the uh, Pleasure Beach they might just think it's a, a sort of small amusement park I mean I guess it is but there is some quite surprisingly good rides we've got the ghost train the ghost train in itself is two tokens per person or obviously a wristband it's quite a tame ghost train there's nothing too jumpy in that or too frightful for kids uh, we took Albie through and he was absolutely fine we've got the pirate ship which is a staple staple ride um, be on the ends for these because obviously it blows better for your belly it gets your belly a lot more if you're on the end seats there's a Dumbo ride for the little kids flying Dumbos Again, that's a two-token uh, ride. Or wristband. We've got the waltzers. These are quite fast waltzers. It does have somebody on them operating the spinning of the waltzers, like you do at Fun First. And then you've got the Freak Out, which to me is the flagship um, ride here. It's like... I think I've done it two or three times today. I think the kids have done it five or six times. Uh, it is by far the best ride here. It's really, really good. So there is an on-ride POV video of that in the vlog, the main vlog. And then the Super Trooper, which is to the left now, which is not actually currently running. Um, but it does state that when you buy your wristbands at the ticket office that that one's currently not working, which is a shame. Uh, yeah, so there's the waltzes and then we're heading toward the back of the park now so you've got the giant wheel which again we have been on I think we've been on everything to be honest that we haven't other than the really tiny little rides that Albie didn't want to do we've actually done everything on park at least once you get some really good views of Skegness from up there uh, and that is three tokens so three pound or three tokens per rider so in my opinion, if you're going to spend more than a couple of hours here, it's, it's certainly worth getting um, a wristband, especially if you can get one from Planet Offers at £10. Um, there is exclusion dates, which is the summer holidays basically, if you do go on Planet Offers and wish to purchase these wristbands for £10 per person, um, obviously they exclude some holidays, I think it's 23rd of July to like the 4th or 5th of September, that's the only exclusion dates. Today being a Sunday in June, we was able to use them. No problem whatsoever. Um, there is a big apple coaster for the kids. That is quite a tame one. If you sit at the back, you do get some good drag on the uh, main down, downwards hill bit there. Um, and then there's Rock and Roller up there, which we'll go up and have a look at in a sec. There is a little, um, well, like a little carousel with the horses here. That's for the little kids. And then there's another little kiddie ride here. It's called the Drop and Twist, which is just a little drop ride. It takes you up slowly and it drops you a little bit at the top. Um, we've not done that one just because Albie's not interested in it. Uh, and it is a kid's ride, so we'd probably look a little bit weird just going on it without a kid. Here's Maisie and Zach. They've just done Rock and Roller Coaster. Or the Rock and Roller. So they're just going back to do whatever they want to do now. I'll just pop you up here so we can have a look at this Rock and Roller a little bit better because it's elevated, so you can't really see it from this level so well. So we'll pop up here so I can show you the track. And then I do believe that's pretty much everything at um, Skegness Pleasure Beach. So this is the Rock and Roller. It's kind of like a, a wild mouse type ride. Put you in like a waltzer style car. It can be quite rough on the bends. When you're spinning on these bends, going at some decent speed, it is quite rough. It flings you about a bit. Um, but that's one of the bigger rides here as well um, and I think that said it was three tokens per ride yeah three tokens so you could soon rack up easily rack up ten pounds worth on these rides which is what we've paid for our wristbands so we'll uh, walk back through oh I will show you as well the um, the Pebble Beach Crazy Golf is now included with all wristbands. That is located just on the front, just between the, the McDonald's and the, um, the ice cream shops and stuff. 
on the front. So I'll take you to that and I'll show you that. That is usually three pound per person to play the crazy golf. But with a wristband, you do get to have a free round of golf, which is good. It's even better value, even better value. It's already good value as it is, especially given where we got our tickets from and how much we paid for ours. We paid £10 for ours, but Albie's obviously, because he was um, an under 1.2 metre, so we had to get him a, an extra special height restricted wristband, which was £12.50 on the day here. So we did pay for that. So that made his wristband actually £2.50 more expensive than ours, even though ours covered us for everything and Albie's covers his for everything except sort of the top five rides. I'll just go over here and I'll have a look and I'll show you exactly what the height restricted wristband does not actually cover you for. So you don't get on the rock and roller, the freak out, the pirate ship, the twister, the dodgems or the super trooper. So that's what it does cover you for. So I'll take you over there, I'll show you the crazy golf. So that's the full tour of Skegness Pleasure Beach. Um, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll go check out this crazy golf. I'll show you that, just give you a little look at that. Um, and then that concludes the tour of Skegness Pleasure Beach. It's been years since I've been. Uh, we've had a really good day, really good value for money, like I said. Even at full price, I think off-peak today, it's supposed to be off-peak today, so it being before some holidays, so uh, I believe that would have actually cost £20 per wristband. Um, so even at that price, it's not actually a bad price. If you can spend all day here and get the full amount, get the full amount of rides in. We've, uh, we've just come out the exit of the um, Pleasure Beach there, and then we're on the front now, so, well, we're on the other side of the arcade. So we've got... Um, the crazy golf which I'll show you now so this is the crazy golf there is a little booth just on the actual front there on the roadside and that's where it says it's three pound per person or wristbands um, so I'll just do a quick walk around so you can just have a look at some of the uh, course which is not bad for three pound per person but with a wristband it's completely free so again for a ten pound wristband you're getting a three pound golf crazy golf game thrown in as well so that is actually it. That is Skegness Pleasure Beach. I'm just gonna show you the map and show you exactly where we've just walked, and then that will end the video. Like I said, if you found the video interesting, if, it's, uh, if you've got anything from it at all, please do pop a little like on the video. It does help the channel massively, um, and we really do appreciate it. And also, if you've enjoyed it maybe consider subscribing to the channel because we've got lots more coming up including the full day vlog of this place so that's the park map so we did cover everything uh, I don't think there's any rides oh there is one at the back actually that we didn't cover which was a jungle sort of train so I will magically appear there now and show you that before we finish the vlog and as if by magic, we're here. So this is the Jungle Adventure, which is two tokens or a wristband. And this is just a little kiddie ride that just goes round and round on like a little train. Just go inside a little bit. There is a lot of sort of bits about like arcadey bits where you can pay for like the little individual rides. So yeah, that's the Jungle Adventure. There's several of these sort of little rooms where it's got the little paper ride cars and tractors, little kiddie rides in. So if you've got a little kid that likes this sort of thing, make sure you bring a pocket full of pounds. There's orbiters, they're a pound as well. So all around the edge there is sort of games, game stalls where you can win prizes. Um, there is little rock stands and donut stands, there's hooker duck. So it's not just rides, there is also like a cafe, there's a fish and chip shop here. Fish, chips and peas for £7. You do get a meal deal here as well, like a big family meal deal for £25, which I'll show you. So there's a gift shop with some uh, magnets. There's a rock shop. So this is what you get for £25. Two fish, chips and sauce, or two burger chips and sauce. Plus two kids meals of sausage, fish cake or nuggets and chips. Plus two bottles of pop or two hot drinks, plus two kids pop or two slugs for £25. So if you're feeding a family of four, £25 isn't actually that bad. 
So there's all different flavoured rocks and stuff, just like you get at a seaside really. So we'll uh, we'll head over to the other side, see what the stalls are like on the other side. Um, I think there is just some, mostly the same. I think there's like a, a slushy place and it's just more rocks and game stalls where there's like the camel races and things like that. There's a JCB diggers place over there. There is one of these which you don't see very often anymore and I know they're definitely not allowed at Hull Fair. The council have barred them, but it's the little hang on. If you can hang on for two minutes, you can get um, £20 and it's £3 to go. Um, and that is that. That is Skegness Pleasure Beach. There is a cash point there as well. Uh, but there is a charge to get your cash out. So that is it. So that concludes the full tour of Skegness Pleasure Beach, Bottoms Pleasure Beach here at Skegness on the seafront. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do pop a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, until next time. Bye. <laughs> See you on the next one.